Something that became obvious in this last year and a half is our need for connection. Connection with other people, with our bodies, connection with nature, and connection with a higher sense of self. So when I started working on this project, I knew that I wanted to make something that could bridge my personal archive, I have my own roots, to something bigger and shared with others. I became interested in festivals and traditions, and especially in the costumes that are used during these festivals. Things that embody um, abstract concepts, but become inhabited by individuals. So I decided to build my own costumes, uh, inspired by those, using recycled and repurposed materials. Uh, some of the trims that I used are 50 years old. They were used by my dad when he was working as an upholsterer. And so it became uh, really embedded with my personal history and everything that is important to me. And everything I used, even the thread, was recycled. I decided to collaborate with two amazing contemporary dancers, Vittoria Caneva and Salamawit Biruk, because I wanted them to interpret the costumes and make them come alive using their own personal archives of movements and understanding on how it should move. And it was obvious to me that something like this should happen on location and not just inside a studio. But I wanted to find a place that could be meaningful as well. And the Dolomites are a UNESCO heritage site. And in 2018, they became ravaged by a huge storm that killed millions of trees. But in the last few years, they have been rebuilt by the work of many, many people. So I wanted to shoot there because it's an important place for me. Shooting on location comes with challenges though. We were very unlucky with the weather. It, first we had to reschedule everything because we had huge thunderstorms and then the day that we could shoot, it kept changing probably every five minutes. So we had to work very, very fast and we had to move with the light and with the weather. One of the things that makes it really obvious that this camera was not designed to just sit in a studio is the fact that the body is weather resistant. And in a situation like the one we were shooting, it came really helpful. Thankfully, working with this medium format camera meant that I had all the quality that I needed and the versatility that comes with it. I didn't have to worry about anything technical. I could just decide what kind of framing I wanted to have and I could just interact with the dancer. The new GFX50 has the same body design and the same internal image body stabilization than the GFX100. And it's really impressive and it means that you can work freehand all the time without needing a tripod. Working with a moving subject means that it's really, really important to have a very fast focus and a very precise one. 
because if something amazing happens and I don't know how to capture or the camera fails, it's heartbreaking. With this camera, the focus was really, really fast and really, really precise. So every frame that I shot was exactly what I wanted it to be. Working with 50 megapixels on a very large sensor doesn't mean that you're just working with 50 megapixels. It means that you get the tonal quality, the bokeh, and uh, uh, impressive detail that you get with this kind of camera, which is something that is really important for me because I want to have all the texture when I then print these images and do other things with them. I want the texture to feel three-dimensional. I want the image to feel real. The GFX 50S2 is a really good size camera. It doesn't feel too small, it's still something that has a good weight in your hand, but it's not a big weight. It's something that is very lightweight, that is very portable, and you can shoot freehand for a very long time, especially when it's paired with a versatile zoom like the 35-70. to Working with a zoom lens is not necessarily something that I do all the time. I prefer prime lens, but in this specific case, it allowed me way more versatility. I could get um, a bigger range of images in the same location without having to change lens all the time. One of my favorite things about working with the GFX 50S2 was that it felt like home. I didn't have to learn everything all over again. Everything was where I was used to and it's something that is really familiar and it doesn't make you waste time. The kind of images that I had in mind very often required to have a eye contrast and I wanted to have detail in the shadows as well as in the lights. It's something that you just can't get with a normal full frame camera. It's the kind of dynamic range that the GFX 50S2 has is really impressive. Using a medium format camera means that you really can crop your images if it needs be. It means that you don't have to change lens to have the full frame and the detail. You can just zoom in and get so much detail that you can get lost in it. One of the things that is probably more surprising is how often I just use the JPEG straight out of the camera. I shoot the raw file because I want to have it and it kind of makes me feel safe. But to be honest, the quality of the JPEG straight out of camera is so good that I usually just use that. The really impressive thing for me about working on location with this camera is that it never felt like I was working with a medium format camera. It never felt bulky or slow or something that I have to constantly check every moment to see if I was getting good images. It felt very freeing to just be able to concentrate on the framing, the movement and the photo that I wanted to have. My name is Sara Lando and I am a photographer and visual artist based in Bassano del Grappa, Italy.